Hello everyone, welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to test BitLocker key rotation in Indian managed Windows 10 device. First, let's understand what is BitLocker key rotation. BitLocker key rotation allows users to use a single use key for unlocking a BitLocker encrypted device. Once this key is used, a new key will be generated for the device and stored securely in Azure Active Directory. This helps to prevent a rogue help desk user from trying to decrypt contents of a BitLocker encrypted computer without permission. Because once the recovery key is given to the user via the help desk, it is then rotated on the client and the new recovery key and recovery key ID are transferred to the Azure Active Directory and therefore the old recovery key becomes useless. First of all, we need to configure our devices to actually perform client-driven recovery key rotation after an OS drive recovery. After we configure this setting, we can use BitLocker key rotation in Intune. This automatic rotation will refresh only the recovery password which was used to unlock during BitLocker recovery. Other recovery passwords will remain unchanged. The newly generated recovery password will be securely stored in Azure Active Directory as well. In addition to automatic rotation, Intune got the ability to trigger a BitLocker key rotation manually from the Intune web portal. During this process, all existing recovery keys will be deleted and a single new recovery key will be set and a backup is written to Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we have seen the steps on how to enable BitLocker on Windows device without TPM in Intune using disk encryption policy. While creating the disk encryption policy, we have also configured client-driven recovery key rotation. We have chosen key rotation enabled for Azure Active Directory joined devices option. So first, let me show you the policy and configuration which we have done in the last video. I also suggest to watch that video first to get a better idea about the configuration. Link to that video is also given in the description area. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Endpoint Security. Under Manage, click on Disk Encryption. We can see the policy with the name Test Windows BitLocker Disk Encryption Policy which we have created in the last video. Click on Policy. Under Manage, click on Properties. Click on Edit Configuration Settings. Under BitLocker Base Settings, check the value for the setting named Configure Client Driven Recovery Password Rotation. We are talking about this setting. As we can see, we have chosen Key Rotation Enabled for Azure AD Joint Devices. If you haven't enabled this setting, you can do it from here. Let me close the page. We also need to make sure our device is correctly configured afterwards. Under Monitor, click on Device Status. Click on our device name which is LabWin10-DE01. Under Monitor, click on Device Configuration. Click on Disk Encryption Policy. As you can see, all the settings are successfully applied to our device labwin10-d01. So we can say 
The beat locker key rotation feature is currently enabled in our policy and we have successfully applied that policy to our Windows 10 device. Now how we can test the beat locker key rotation with Intune. Let's go to a Windows 10 device. We are using a VirtualBox VM for testing. The disk encryption policy is assigned to our device and system drive is already encrypted. Open File Explorer. Click on this PC. As we can see, C drive is encrypted. Again, I want to remind you that we are using the same VM which we have used in the last video. The BitLocker recovery key must be stored in Azure Active Directory according to our endpoint security policy settings. Intune provides access to the Azure AD Blade for BitLocker so we can view BitLocker key ID and BitLocker recovery keys for our Windows devices from within the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. To check that, go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Click on Devices. Click on All Devices. Click on a Windows 10 device LabWin10-D01. Under Monitor, click on Recovery Keys. Click on Show Recovery Key. So we can confirm that the BitLocker Recovery Key is stored in Azure Active Directory. Microsoft also allows any Azure AD authenticated user assigned to a device to view its recovery keys. To access the BitLocker keys from standard Azure AD user, we can go to the My Account portal and access device. We have already accessed the My Account portal using the account of our Azure Active Directory user, TasteUser1. We can see a username, TasteUser1. Click on Devices. Click on a device name which is labwin10-d01. Click on View BitLocker Keys. Here we can see the key ID. Click on Show Recovery Key. As we can see, the BitLocker Keys ID and the BitLocker Recovery Key are accessible by the end user. Let's go back to a Windows 10 device. Before a recovery key is rotated, you can find out what values you have on a client computer. Open PowerShell Admin. Click on Yes. Type command manage bde-protectors-get and the drive letter and then press Enter key. The numerical password listed here is used to unlock drives that are in BitLocker recovery mode via the help desk feature or self-service. As already we have discussed that user can easily access his or her recovery key using my account portal. So in case of recovery, user can use that recovery key to access his or her computer. Let's match the password with recovery key which we have in Azure Active Directory. Remember the first six digits of this password and the ID. Let me go back to the Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We can see the BitLocker Recovery ID 84804887. Let's match here 84804887. And the password is beginning from 493790. Okay. So we can confirm that both BitLocker key ID and BitLocker recovery keys are same on Windows client computer and in Azure Active Directory. To test the OS drive recovery, let's restart our Windows 10 device. Let me close this. And let's restart this Windows 10 device. It is asking us to enter the password to unlock this drive, but we want to enter in BitLocker Recovery. So here we press Escape key to get into BitLocker Recovery mode. We need to type the BitLocker Recovery key to access this computer. 
After entering the recovery key for this drive, press enter key to continue. After successful verification of recovery key, Windows 10 will start booting process. At login screen, enter the PIN to sign in to this Windows 10 device. So we have used BitLocker recovery key in BitLocker recovery mode to access our Windows 10 device. Now let's check the BitLocker recovery key on this device. Is it same or change? Open Windows PowerShell Admin. Click on Yes. And again type the same command and press Enter key. And yes, as expected, the BitLocker recovery key has been changed. The new BitLocker recovery key is also stored in Azure Active Directory. Let's check that. Go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Refresh the entire web page. Let's again click on Show Recovery Key. So we can confirm that the BitLocker key ID and BitLocker recovery key is changed and updated in Azure Active Directory as well. We can also check logs on our Windows 10 device. So we have successfully tested BitLocker key rotation in Intune Manage Windows 10 device. In the next video, we will rotate the BitLocker recovery key manually by triggering a rotation from the Intune console. That's all for this video on how to work with BitLocker key rotation in Intune Manage Windows 10 device. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.